Hi and welcome to Miso Tarot's weekly tarot and oracle card reading. I'm Mila, your host. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Tonight there is a full moon, so be sure to release uh, anything you no longer need up to that moon. The moon and your angels and guides will help you let go of any kind of fear, um, things that are holding you back, you know, all of that stuff. So this is a repeated process that we have to do all the time when there's a full moon and again in the new moon you want to make your goals and um, it's a perfect time to write down your goals and set stuff into play. So let's find out about the cards here. So first card, the hangman. This is about a period of reevaluation. So with our emotions from last week and what have you going up and down, um, this is a time of reassessment. It's a time where we want to, um, we're kind of not moving forward and not moving back, and there's a lot of stuff going on all around us at this time, and we might be feeling pulled to do one thing or another, um, but sit back and think before you take action right now. That's what I'm going to say about that. And, let's see, oh, Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> the, the Karmic Wheel of Fortune. So, this is, um... It's always something unusual that happens, um, a twist of fate, karmic justice, uh, stuff like that. Sorry, there's some construction going on. I've been waiting to do this video all day, actually, so I can't stop now. Um, sorry about that. Um, what goes up must come down, and if you're in one of those spots that's maybe like you're in a low period, then things will take a turn really fast and go uh, to the positive. Or if you're in the positive, you got to realize that everything is a life cycle and things um, change, right? Obviously. So, and remember that not everything is either, it's, we tend to think of things as positive or negative. It's all just really energy, right? So try to take out the reaction and the emotions from things if something quote unquote bad happens to you or if something good happens to you of course feel the happiness and feel it um, but know that you know it's it's come to you because you've put it out there as well right so five of swords this is a card where people walk away from each other we could be fighting, arguing with ourselves in our brains about this, whatever's going on. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, something might have happened, and then it leads to an argument with somebody. Whatever the case is, generally speaking, this card means that someone ends up walking away from somebody else. And there's not really a true winner in this situation. Um, so be careful when, to watch your words when you're dealing with others this week um, because sometimes we can get nasty and uh, this is about using your intuition. Maybe it is time to let somebody go out of your life. That It just may be appropriate because you've grown, expanded, and they're not growing at the same pace as you or they have just alternate ideas. Okay, so boredom. This is uh, spirit teachers. This is about you being a gift to the world. So if you notice, there's a, there's a heart being given. So if you and boredom, this card comes to us because it's about following that life purpose. It's about being of service to the world. It's about bringing your gift out. If you're still fearful or hesitant to find what your soul's purpose is, stop. You're feeling bored and um, because you're not following your true path. So start getting creative. Start doing what you love to do. And remember what you love to do. What is it that you love to do? And then focus on that. And then maybe a job will come from that or what have you, right? This is a beautiful card. Positive change. Positive change is on the horizon for us. Yahoo! <laughs> Isn't that lovely? So know that you have been divinely directed 
to go into the situation, right? So everything that's happened up until this point, maybe it's been frustrating. Like uh, the Wheel of Fortune is sometimes a frustration card, but it's also, um, I'm just remembering this, it's also you may have like a small lottery win or some money come to you or something like that. So that'd be really good. But positive change is you have been divinely directed to go to towards this area, right? Stop being bored. Start practicing. Start giving your gift and positive change will come from it. I feel that 2015 is going to be fabulous and, you know, I can't wait. I'm getting really excited for it. So, um, I'm wishing, I'm going to leave you with that because I'm a little cold. Uh, I'm wishing you well and I'm sending you lots of love this week. I'll talk to you soon.